want a world where nine plus, maybe 10 billion people will all live well within the boundaries of the planet. Vision 2050, it's a common narrative by the business community, by the members of the World Business Council on how the future should be so that it is more sustainable. The Vision 2050 project gives us a really great opportunity to work out what role business has. We know what the document said 10 years ago. What should it say now? Ten years have slipped on, but we need to now look at Vision 2050 again, and we need to move to a society that is more human-centric. When WBCSD set out Vision 2050 ten years ago, there was no Paris Accord and Climate Agreement. The Sustainable Development Goals hadn't been set yet. There were many things we didn't see coming. We didn't predict the sort of nationalisation of politics, artificial intelligence, and we didn't predict social impacts around jobs with automation, the rise of the robots. In Montreux, companies had the chance to dive into the details of the original vision and explore the key elements that we should explore as part of a refresh. The very transparent, challenging and honest nature of the discussions that were had around the development of Vision 2050 provided real insights, sometimes shocking insights, for companies. The first reflection is how much the world has changed in the energy space. It has been disrupted by new technologies. The economic system, the regulation, the business as usual obsession needs to radically change. Everyone agreed that we had come a long way in the last 10 years. I see an opportunity for companies who want to provide nature-based solutions that will address our climate challenges in a totally new way. What came out is clearly a call for a people-centered perspective, which was raised actually not only in our session, but across discussions in sectors and systems. So highlighting the need for what we call a fair, inclusive and aspirational vision for the future. Companies can get involved in Vision 2050 by stepping up and, and joining the project. I think it's a great opportunity because it's going to help companies rethink what is their strategy for 2030. And what is more important is that it's a shared pathways. What we really need is an action agenda for business 2020 to 2030. We believe that if your company participates, it will help you set the agenda for your business. It will really help us understand system transformations and what are the barriers we must overcome.